So, if they're on stage, and they always rehearse the same way, but this keyboard player can't hear the guitar player. Maybe it's time for you as a sound person to say, how about you move the guitar player over there by him? Anything you can fix by moving folks or getting people more close together or by moving a speaker so that more than one person can hear, it's better for you. You can't fix everything with this. You know, if we try to fix everything with this, we run into that problem where all you do is sweat and wait for the feedback to happen because it's about to. You know, it's always too many mics or it's too loud on stage or it's this or it's that. Make sure people are comfortable on stage. And if you've got a crowd, especially the church crowds, it's not so much in a club because it's nice and loud. People are already drinking and, and they're happy. It's the folks that are in the churches, they think they are owed this. And so it always pays to go out to that person who's complaining and ask them, Miss Smith, can you hear it any better this week? I was working on it. She may not know that you didn't do anything, but she knows you thought of her. It's so important that you understand that the musicians and your audience feel that same way. Your musicians, if you'll just grab a knob you're not even using, it makes people happy to know that you're paying attention to them. Oh, you heard me, didn't you? Oh, thanks, man, that sounds so much better. And you didn't really do anything. You pat their ego. And I know it's hard to take, but if you can do that, you don't have to buy any more gear. You know? So when you're doing your sound, think those things through. Think how you can work together with the, with the band and how the crowd is going to interact with the band. If you do sound checks and the room's empty, know it's going to be louder when you get people in there yelling and screaming. So you may want to turn up your sound, your output a little bit more. But you never set up your sound system. You never set up your sound system so that it's so loud that all you hear is hiss and hum coming out of this in between when there shouldn't be anything coming out of it. Again, our job is to be as transparent as possible. If they walk out and never knew you were there, <laughs> we did it. You know, we really did the right thing. It's a tough job. It really is. But um, I'll be around for a little while. I want to answer any kind of questions you have. I do want you to know, like I said, we talked about how the system works. So, And we talked about how you could put a system together. You could have the amplifier in the mixer. So you'd wind up with this powered mixer. Or you'd have the amplifier stuck in the speaker, like those over there, and you'd have a powered speaker. The best thing would be if it was all in one piece. This is a sound system with everything in one package. This is cool because it has the whole mixer, the amplifier, and two speakers all in one box. It's ready to go. So it makes a lot of these wires not necessary. It, you even have effects, you know, the reverb. Everybody likes reverb, huh? One little reverb. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you're doing sound checks with people and they use reverb, try to keep it out of their monitors. Let them hear the reverb that's in the room rather than in the monitor. You heard how nice that sounds up here. For you out in the house, that's perfect. But for us, sound people, that exaggerates the amount of feedback that we could get. So you want to try to keep feedback out of here. Don't do a sound check with just the monitors. Make sure the mains are on so they can hear the whole sound system working at once.